I've always had you do the star note for it. The what? Given. The given. You restate the given. So the measure of angle ADC, <coughs> bless you, equals 59 degrees. The reason for this is because that is given to us. Okay, there's actually other stuff given to us, but it's not written down. Typically, it will be. I know the measure of angle ADB. is equal to, any guesses? Not a number, it's an equation. 3x oh, yeah, plus, plus 1. I know that it actually is given to us because it's there. It's just not in writing. I also know, semicolon, bless you, the measure of BDC. That is equal to 4x minus 5. This is actually given to us. This is not made up. I'm not pulling out of thin air or a magic hat. <coughs> okay, so which postulate do you think we're dealing with here? Segment addition postulate, midpoint, angle addition. Angle addition, we're adding two angles together. So once you can identify, do you see how, what this picture looks like? It's two angles, right? So when you're, whenever you're going through this in this chapter, this unit, go back to here. Which one of these pictures does it look like? This one. So here's my reason, right? This is the reason. Here's the statement. This is the statement that you will write. So my statement is going to say if I add these two together, I will get the larger whole. But we're only talking about the angles. So angle ADB plus angle BDC would equal angle ADC. That's the postulate. If I say these two angles add together to the larger one. I know this because it is the angle addition postulate. Boom, hard parts done. Now it's just basic algebra. First I gotta set up the equation, right? Right now this is not algebra, it's geometry, it's letters and numbers and weird symbols. So I need to set up an equation. How do I set up that equation looking at that? Equals what? Which is 59. So I'm going to add these two together, set it equal to 59. So I can replace ADB with 3x plus 1. plus my other angle, 4x minus 5, equals the total of the large angle, which is given to me, it's right here, 59. To go from letters to numbers and letters, substitution. that's substitution. We substituted that stuff in. You can only use substitution when we have these statements, see how I said this is equal to this? I can trade them out. That means substitution. This is equal to this. I can trade it out because they're equal to each other. This angle is equal to a number. I can trade it out because it's equal to each other. I can substitute it. Okay, my first step, I have x's on the same side. So 3x and 4x is 7x. 1 and a negative 5 is a negative 4 with a 59. That right there was combined like terms. Remember, if the variables are on the same side, that's combining like terms. Okay, I want to add 4 to the other side. 
because it is the inverse of subtracting 4. That is why. 63, so that is addition property. Divide by 7 on both sides because that is the inverse of 7 times x. So division property. Okay, I'm trying to prove the measure of ADB, which is this angle. I found out what x was. But how do I find out what that is? Plug in 9. Plug in nine. So I want to write the measure of angle ADB equals 3 times 9 plus 1. I plugged in 9. You told me to do that. If I plugged in a number for a letter, that's substitution. Now, if you're confused where I just jumped from solving for x into this angle, it's because I solved for x, but I'm being told this is what I want to prove, this angle. That's why I jumped to that angle. It's asking me to figure out what the, how many degrees that angle is. So the measure of angle ADB is equal to 28. 3 times 9 is 27, plus 1 is 28. That math we just did there is to simplify. We actually just simplified the expression. All right, not too crazy. Okay, next one. What is the value of x? justify each step, we are given AB bisects RAN. So here's AB, bisects RAN. What does it mean to bisect something? What? Cut it in half. If I cut it in half, what did I make? Two equal halves. Two equal halves. Perfect. So now we're on the right track. So let's start off with our given. Write that down. Ray AB bisects angle RAN. This was given. This is exciting. This is a posture that we haven't gone over yet, but we're going to figure it out. What can I write here because I know that I cut that in half? Okay, correct. That's where I want to end up. But before I jump there, I have to write something else. I have to use letters before I get to the numbers. Correct. So we have to remember, we have to let them know that these are equal to each other. I know in your head you know it, but we have to put it on paper. So angle RAB is congruent to B A N. I know this. Does anybody take a wild guess how? Hold on. It is given, but I want to rewrite the given because it does what? Is it bisecting? Correct. This is an angle bisector. So like I said, when you get to this point, typically you're going to go back and it's related to the given. This is an angle bisector postulate. Kind of like angle midpoint, like midpoint postulate or segment addition postulate, angle bisector. Means we're cutting an angle in half. Okay, now, Sierra, what can I do with this to get to that? Substitute it. So x 
if you're confused, RAB is x degrees right there. So I can replace it. Equals 2x minus 75. And this was because of substitution. Sweet. I got to solve for x. What's my step? Add 75 on both sides? Minus 2x? Subtraction property. If I subtract 2x on both sides, I get negative x equals negative 75. Not done here. Can't have negative x. Yep. Division property. I'm going to divide by negative 1 on both sides. So x equals 75 degrees. I was asked to prove or just solve for x, the value of x. That's where I stop. I don't have to plug x in. It doesn't ask me to prove an angle measure or anything like that. Just solve for x. 